Will your life be changed without electronic devices one day? The answer probably yes. Actually, electronic devices are getting closer and closer to us physically. We wear headphones to enjoy music. We wear smart watches to track how much longer we jog today than our friends. We wear smartphones in our pocket all the time. They almost become an essential part of us, and I will for sure lose some part of my daily function if I don't have them. There are many advantages to have such close interaction with our smart devices. By detecting the change of the reflected light on our skin, our smart watches can detect our blood flow and tell us the heart rate. This can facilitate the early diagnosis of cardio. Cardiovascular diseases. Such close interaction between the device and our body allows the health data be collected with high quality in real life. However, there are some parts of our body that are much harder to monitor than others. Take fetal monitoring, for example. This is a method to detect the heart rate of the fetus during late pregnancy. And sometimes during labor, this, there are two belts with sensors wrapped around the belly of the mothers. One is to detect the fetal heart rate; the other one for contractions. This is definitely necessary and important process. But when I look at this setup, I feel it cannot be comfortable. Especially this too tightly. We had the audience comfort that. Especially this too tightly bound. Bands around the belly, but it's more than that. The patient has to go to the hospital, where they have these big machines for the diagnosis. The patient has to stop her daily activity and lie down to make sure that these sensors do not move around or misalign. This is inconvenient. Is there a way that is convenient, com comfortable, and continuous for fetal monitoring? Would it be nice if we built such a device that it is thin, light, stretchable, and then can be wear like a patch on the belly? And they are so comfortable to wear that they can perform fetal monitoring without disturbing our daily activity. In order to make such wearable devices, we need to make every component of our device stretchable and soft. And there are many components in today's devices. For example, they have power system, battery. They have input system,、uh, cameras, microphones, and、uh, all sorts of sensors. They have computer center made out of transistors. They have output system such as display or speakers. Today, I want to focus on one specific area of the modern electronics: display. Display. Is an important output component of modern devices. They transform the、uh, abstract electronic signals into visible light to reconstruct images or videos. Display is important, and it is everywhere. In front of you, this beautiful screen is composed of over 30 millions of light emission diodes, or what we call LEDs. Although the, with those huge amount of devices, there are only two simple facts we need to know about the LED. First, they are driven by electricity. Second, they emit light. This directly leads to the two major components of an LED: conductors and emitters. Conductors are the ones to transport the electricity from the power source, like a battery, to the emitters. And emitters are the ones to take this electricity and convert them to visible light, so that our eyes can see. In today's device, conductors are mostly made out of metals such as aluminum, silver, and emitters are made of semiconductor, crystalline semiconductors, and these are sand or diamond-like materials, which are quite rigid. In nature, so here is the question: If we want wearable display. How are we going to make both conductors and emitters soft and stretchable? We already know that metals are good conductors. That means they can transport electricity from one place to another with very little amount of loss. 
However, metals are also tough, rigid, and hard. Well, that is, that is true only if they're bulky. There are actually soft versions of metals around us. For example, steel wool is quite flexible, easy to deform, and they're so soft that we can use them to wipe our utensils after the dinner. Can we learn from this and make the analogy to, to build the flexible and stretchable conductors? So here is our strategy. We make very thin wires of metals. They are 5,000 times thinner than your hair. And when we can even spray coat them onto a piece of glass, and then we pour an elastic and flexible matrix on top of them. When we peel them off, we got this soft, stretchable thin films. And when you zoom in and look at it under the microscope, you can see that these nanowires of the metals, they entangled with each other, which forms the electrically conductive pathways. So by make metal thin, we achieve the conductors that are stretchable and soft. So the next question is how to make emitters stretchable. I just mentioned that the emitters are mostly semiconductor crystals. Can we similarly, by making smaller version of the semiconductors, and then to realize the soft emitters? Well, before we solve that problem, let's look at this. Um, so there are actually already the uh, small crystals that are very emissive, and there are quantum dots. They are uh, small crystals of semiconductors, and they are only 100,000 times smaller than a single grain of salt. Because they are so small, some very interesting properties start to emerge, such, such as they're super bright, and that they're emissive, they're, the color that they emit can be easily tuned by simply changing the size of these tiny crystals. Because of this, they are a perfect candidate for the um, displays that, we were, that are both stretchable and emissive. But the only problem is that when you dry out the solution where the quantum dots are synthesized and uh, stored, then they start, these tiny crystals start to form a thin, dense film, and these films are not stretchable anymore. They are brittle and easy to break. How are we going to solve that problem? Let's say you like chocolate chips. Even you don't, you will after you stay in Rose House for a few days. <laughs> they are delicious and crunchy. However, today you want to eat something soft. How am I going to provide you such food that is both soft in nature, but also can maintain the delicious taste and integrity of the chocolate chips? I guess an initial, uh, a very intuitive thought would be, well, we can embed these chocolate chips into something soft. A chocolate chip muffin could totally solve this problem. Inspired by this, can we solve our quantum dot emitter problem by finding such matrix that is soft, stretchable, and flexible to host them? Well, first of all, it's not a very easy question. For example, when you try to jam two things together, they tend to not to mix with each other. Instead, they face segregate. In the end, you will get a plain muffin and a pile of chocolate chips. That is not what we want. To overcome that, we design our matrix, which is organic polymer semiconductors, in a spatial way to enhance the interaction between quantum dots and the matrix. In the end, we can achieve the homogeneous blend of the quantum dots into this plastic matrix. Through this strategy, we achieve the flexible, stretchable emitter. There, you can easily bend them and make a shining ring out of it, if you wish. You can stretch them, twist it, twist them without disturbing the emissive property. Now we get both stretchable conductor and stretchable emitter. If we stack them together, we got this wearable light emission diodes. They are so soft and flexible, they can cover irregular shape of the object. You know, in this morning, we have an amazing team led by James to set this beautiful screen for us. They are, com they are 186 
of the smaller panels are assembled together so that to form this beautiful big screen. I hope one day with our flexible light emission diodes, I can hand James a sheet of a like plastic or curtain-like sheet, then he can just hand up from here to there and finish the installment. This device is also functional, is also can maintain its function even when we stretch them to 140% of its original size. That means that they are very comfortable to wear and you can wear them and they easily move around. If we combine this flexible, stretchable light emission diodes with the light pressure and uh, temperature sensor that is developed by Ryan, then we can realize this function, for example, to detect the oxygen level of the blood, or even blood pressure, or the temperature of, your dif of the different part of your body. You can put them on your palm, on your forearm, on your joints, or your scalp, and you can detect them while you are exercising, resting, working. One day, such device may free our patient from the hospital and perform the fetal monitoring at home or work. These cannot be easily realized by today's rigid devices. In the future, I'm envisioning wearable electronics is going to revolutionize the method of personal and public health care, agriculture, entertainment, and much more. They will further empower us in a comfortable and mobile manner. Here we are to make it happen faster. Thank you.